G'day, it's Paddy here and I'm here today with Mark. And Mark is the Australian distributor for Vanessa, which is a fantastic product uh, brought in from Germany and uh, very beautifully fitted to a Volkswagen multivan in the first instance. And uh, today we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at this, Mark. We're gonna look at uh, the products from Bavaria, Vanessa Mobile Camping. Uh, Australia is importing from Vanessa Mobile Camping in Bavaria. It's run by a fellow by the name of Hubert Follett. He's a master cabinet maker. And Hubert made one cabinet for his van about 15 years ago for his family. And as many Germans do, go down the Mediterranean. And of course, at the camping places there, was asked, oh, where did you buy that? Can I buy one of them too from, from that place? And he said, well, I made it, I'm a cabinet maker. Well, can you make me one too? So I made a second one, and then a third one, and then a fourth one. There's over 10,000 of them out there now. And he's uh, the most popular of its type. And he, funnily enough, he said, uh, because the traditional camper van always has the cabinets on the inside of the van. Yeah. That's a, that's a historic matter because the combis used to have the engine in the back. So we couldn't do what we're doing now if the engine was in the back. But these days, the engine's down the front. So uh, we've now a little bit more freedom to do what we like in the van footprint. And when he first came up with the idea of having the full cabinets and kitchen in the back, it was that laughing. Well, what would you do if it's always inside the van? Said, Why would you want to cook inside the van? Attracting mosquitoes and turning all the smells in the van. It's far more social to be cooking down the back of the van. Hold a beer, have a, have a beer with your mates and, and do some cooking down the back. So here's our sink, which has got our running water here. There we go. And we've got a shower here attachment as well, so we can take a shower if we need to. And we also have... What's the pump behind that, Mark? The pump? Yeah. yeah good, good question. The pump behind here... We'll just move our... Because that was super quiet. Arrangement. So here's our water tank. You can yeah. see our water tank. Just oh, a 16 yeah. litre water tank. And then we just have... You want to see the pump. Just lift that up. There's our pump. Very, very quiet pump. Oh my gosh, what is that? Made in Germany, elegant 12 volt DC, 10 litres a minute at 0.5 bar. That was so quiet, I was just like expecting to hear that da 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 da. That was beautiful, I yeah. love it. So, and we've got that at 16 litres partly because that's what uh, fits there, but it's also what's easy to carry in and out. Yes. Uh, for all people uh, can lift generally 16 litres of water. So, we also have this, by the way, is our table here. We might just actually grab that out. Yep. So with the table, we can screw these together. Pressure's on. Have you had the your coffee yet? On. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. So this is no coffee. This is realistic testing, real world testing. Okay. So we'll just pop this into this is the base here. Pop that into there. That is a solid piece of metal, isn't it? Like it looks light, but it's solid. Pull this out. Yeah. Of the table. Oh, that's the base. And here we go. We'll pop this on top. And we're on. Spin that around. And the reason we do it this way is we like tables like this because there's no legs. So when I stand up, we can actually fit four people around here because there's no external four legs there. It's just one center pedestal. Yeah. Nice and stable. Doesn't knock over. And that just sits, both of those pieces sit on so they, top They're there. the exact same perfect size as the top of the kitchen. Yep. And then the legs just fit into this particular drawer. And of course yeah, this kitchen just completely pulls out, pop it in your next van. That's correct. So there's just two screws on the back which just lift up out of the multivan rail system and the 12 volt socket. Just a 12 volt socket to, that's to it. run the pump and the fridge. That's so it. The fridge, that's our fridge here. So this is uh, the Waco? Waco CF35 fridge. We've got our uh, German Ritter chocolate in here, of course, to keep us going on the tour. Some drinks and uh, some German Apfelschorle. What have we got there? Apples, some Apfelschorle, which is like apple, sparkling apple juice sort of thing. Is your wife German? Uh, my wife's South African. I'm, I've got a German background. Oh, do you? Okay. Uh, you so love this German stuff. Yeah, I love it do. too. There we go. So this is our VW Camper cookbook, so we've got some inspiration. Beautiful. And uh, we have our Vanessa Mobile Camping chopping board which fits in perfectly here. Uh, and also, uh, we'll see later, acts as a wind protector for the cooker. But here's our, um, we're just now the agents in Australia for Gearmex as well. So Gearmex is uh, German-made Melamine campware. Beautiful. There's really nice uh, range of products with salad bowls and uh, plates and bowls and so on. Really, really durable. 
You know, something I don't think people appreciate what a sense of fun you can get by having nice, colourful malamine in your camping exactly. kit. Exactly. You know, exactly. it really adds the experience, I think. Yep, and speaking of colour, for the Venice Mobile Camp, we've got a, you can get the entire thing finished in silver. Yeah. But more popular tends to be the anthracite, or just to be really dark grey. And, and for a slight increase in price, about 100 bucks. You get the, uh, the Swiss decor. Just pop decor. it in here where we you are the, there. You get the Swiss decor there. So what do we got? Those three colours? We've got, got the grey. Yeah, silver. We've got anthracite, which is like a very, very dark grey. Yeah. And then the Swiss decor, which looks, does look particularly nice in Swiss decor as well. Yeah. Which one's the most popular right now? Uh, most popular is anthracite. Yeah, right. Okay. The most popular is anthracite at the moment. I quite like the grey for the but silver. The, the, uh... I'm going to come up over here because we've got a bit of backlight here. It's quite yep. strong. That's a bit better. There we go. So in our great big um, uh, pots and pans drawer, I've got my uh, sourdough breads. Yes. But what does come with it is this, so our Vanessa Mobile camping uh, uh, cook pan. Oh wow! And that uh, it's just a simple IKEA pan, so we we'll put our handle on it, and that goes onto our cooker here. Yeah. So we'll pop that straight onto the cooker, and that's our space for the cooker. We have three safety systems on the cooker as well. We've got that latch there. There's a proper latch on the other side, so I can't put that in. And if the cooker is on, I and I release the catches, I still cannot ret retract the cooker. So there's no way I can put the cooker in the on position back into the vehicle. That'd be an important feature for me. I could see me just putting that <laughs> away. Right. Out of habit, yeah. popping that away. So this got a slow little special uh, spot there. Oh, We've got a little special uh, little spot here for the uh, pots and pans. Yeah. And obviously we have our, our coffee makers, our nice coffee pot, which yeah, is designed lovely, to go lovely. here. Yes. Um, which Do you know here. what I love about this? You know, when you, you take a look at the size of that back door, it's you you are completely undercover there. And I, do you guys do some sort of a back tent on this? We certainly do. It's called the van shower. Yes. And I'm happy to go and grab the van shower and we can set that up uh, if you wish. Well, I, I got to say, this is, you know, a complete camping set for an existing van and, you know, a couple of screws that go into the existing rails. And then you can pull it out later on and pop it in your next van. That's to me, that's very, very exciting. Or we can, uh, if we need to move a whole lot of goods, we can take everything out, all the seats out, all the camping cabinetry out, and we have an empty van. Or we can revert it back to, in this case, the multi-van, a people mover, a seven-seat people mover. Yeah. So uh, the kids can bring their friends on and so on. Uh, typically, um, uh, people tend to leave this in day to day because yeah. it's pretty useful to have the sink and the fridge and so on. So yeah. Some of the mums, for example, they uh, maybe go off to Woolworths before picking the kids up to school or to the supermarket. Uh, put some of the cold things into the fridge, go and do the school run, the after school activities and then have everything at home ready. How do we go with the home. battery and this fridge though? It's a very good question. So just before we uh, before we put this um, put this bed back up so I can show you a bit more about the battery in the fridge. Oh, you wanted to show me the windbreak. Oh, the windbreak, just quickly. Yeah. There's a little bit of Velcro we've put here. Yeah. So when this is out, there is a uh, wind protector for that, but there's also this we can pop here. And that just acts as an extra windbreak. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, if you're having any troubles with the with the wind and the flame, so orient the van around the, around the right way. And I, you can also store that there as well if you wish to. Uh, now, just with this, um, I just want to show you the pack bags where I'm at this end of the van. So just literally lift them out like that. So I take the pack bag inside, load up uh, whatever I need to load up. I might have something in here. There we go. I've got some uh, bed clothes in there. Yeah. Might have clothes, beach gear, whatever. And bring it back to like it's got a handle on it, so we can literally use it like a suitcase. Yes. It's got a hard board on the back. Oh, nice. Especially made for Vanessa Mobile Camping for the multi van. They're left right because the multi van windows are, are slightly asymmetric. And by the way, these these little pieces up here are for the internal blind system. Yes. So they do have a blind in there that lifts up. So that's standard. That's, that's already standard in the van. In the multi van, but that just locks up in like that. So it again makes maximum efficiency. Hang on, how did that space. just hold in there then? Literally. Uh, nice tucks in behind tucks in. there. So we just literally, because this is a hard board here. Yes, yes. Just lift it up underneath there and pop it back in like that. And, and it drops down in place. It's a very, very nice finish and it gives you all that privacy when you're in bed as well. And that's it probably correct. blocks a lot of the sun And warmth. thermally efficient, it's thermally efficient, so it's a little bit less sun coming in during the day and keeps the warmth in at night. Yeah, nice. We also have some nice uh, silvery um, thermo mats for the pack window and for all the other windows that uh, keep it nice and warm. And you and mentioned this little guy down here. The heck, uh, the rear tailgate latch yep. is a very funny looking uh, little device. But what it does is, it's the secret to the good night's sleep. So to get a great night's sleep, you need a good mattress and you need good ventilation. 
So when that is in place, we can lower the tailgate and it latches into place and will centrally lock. You cannot open the vehicle, but you will allow just a little bit of uh, fresh air to come over the face. And that uh, is really important for a good night's sleep. And I just jumped up in there. That is, I'm very fussy. That is a really comfy mattress. Absolutely beautiful, comfy mattress. You've got your pillow here. Jack the pillow up. Uh, You've fallen asleep. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's not an inexpensive mattress, but it's a good mattress, and you need a good night's sleep to be able to function the next day with your activities. Well, when obviously, you're out camping, kayaking, or swimming, or whatever. You're if it's not up comfortable, on, you're not going to use it. Exactly. It's got to be. It's got to be good. So the interior of the van is uh, where we're going to be living uh, generally, particularly uh, in the mornings and the evenings, and it transforms. So after we've been uh, sleeping in the van overnight, I can just grab my uh, pillow, pop it over here, and make this now into a really comfortable interior living space. So just pop the mattress back like that, and lift the seat up, and now we have a comfortable interior space. And I actually even have... Uh, a great little workspace tape option here that I can just pop the table down and have a pretty good workspace. So just grab out the, the laptop for example. You've got that seat quite a bit forward at the moment don't I you? I do have it forward and I can easily put that seat back. So I can put the laptop there. If I want to put the seat back on the T6 multivan there's a little strap here on the T5 it's a little lever. I can just pop that seat back. Yeah there we like go. That and uh, work on the uh, work, work away. Out. Now, if I have a uh, perhaps someone with me as a companion, uh, what we can do in here is also uh, rotate this seat around. I love that on the back there, that, uh, that storage area. Yes, yeah, so that's got a little storage bag there, and that's from Van Shower, these storage bags. And we have two types of those storage bags, by the way. Uh, this is the utility version with three pockets. Yes. So you can see it just goes around the headrest there. So oh, yeah. a mesh pocket, a clear pocket, and a concealed pocket to maybe pop the iPad in there or something like that. And as you saw on this particular one, it's on the back of this seat. We also have, I've just got another another one that uh, we're taking to a friend. That would just about go on any vehicle, wouldn't it? I think so. It's, uh, the, for example, on the VW Caddy, the seat's a little bit shorter. Yeah. It's about 10 centimeters shorter, but it would still go on the back. So it's beautiful. That, uh, that works a um, just as well as the other one. But here we've got uh, some pretty large storage here. So we've got a nice big large storage area here, yeah, this by is, the way. This is more longer term, longer term camping. Yeah, so what we tend to find is that people tend to leave the rear kitchen in the back. Yeah. But uh, when they go for longer term touring, maybe not just a weekend away, but now going away for a few weeks or even longer, they'll tend to put this interior module in. And you may be able to see just under there, anyway, there's a, uh, you can see a little knob just down the back there. I can. And that's the T-piece that uses the multi-van rail system. So the T-piece will drop into these rails, turn about 90 degrees, and we just screw it down. That's how the kitchen and the interior module mount into the vehicle. So there's no modifications to the vehicle at all, no. and you get this amazing camper functionality. That's right. So if you just, for example, leasing the vehicle and the leasing company doesn't really want you making permanent modifications to the vehicle, which is fair enough, uh, that's, um, that's really important. This is our vanity here, so we can have uh, uh, all our you know, um, bathroom items and uh, any other items in there. That's and we great. also have here an internal, another little internal storage, uh, uh, two more drawers and a, and a nice table here as well. We can have a couple, you know, sit across from each other and have a cup of tea or a beer or something like that uh, in the uh, in the vehicle. So when we're uh, travelling as well, uh, it's particularly comfortable in this particular configuration with a multi van because this is a luxury passenger vehicle, not just a bare bones uh, commercial van. So we've got all the nice uh, interior headlinings. We've got uh, all the air conditioning and you know, individual reading lights and you know, the air conditioning controls back here. Soundproofed all the way throughout. Airbags down the back here as well. Uh, soundproof floors. So this is particularly comfortable for touring. Both driver and passenger have their armrest-based seats and so on. Obviously facing forwards when uh, driving. If I climb up in here, yep. I'm uh, yeah. This is this is super comfy. We could have a little meeting in here. That's correct. Correct. Yeah, look uh, at that. Plenty of room. Thank you. 
insulation going. I haven't got it quite perfectly along. But, uh, quite powerful magnets. Sometimes when I try to read. And we've got integrated zippers as well. So we can uh, get into the uh, get into the cabinets and so on. And we have one exactly the same for the side doors. So the other one remaining task when installing the Vanessa mobile camping system is to get power to it. And in the back of the multivan we have a power socket and it's always on even when the ignition's off. And we just pop that in there. And now the fridge is running and we have water uh, pump power now as well. So on the inside, uh, we don't want to be worried about uh, reducing our cranking battery power. So what we have done is got a little Dometic Cool Power Wraps 44 is the uh, is called the product, the Cool Power 44. It's a 44 amp hour portable battery with a number of different connectors on it. But what we do is plug the Vanessa plug, which we can plug directly into the multivan. So if we want a little bit of extra power, we can literally pop that in there and then this cable runs around to the multivan socket here. So that gives us a really long time on the uh, on the fridge. And if we take the fridge out for any reason down to the beach or something like that, we can take the cool power 44 with us uh, outside of the vehicle as well because the fridge is removable. Rock and roll, what do we got here? So this is the van shower privacy screen. So it just creates a little bit of protected space out the back. So one of the reasons we particularly like having our kitchen in the back here is we've got this nice big protected cover here. So it protects us from the sun and the rain. Yes. But uh, if we want to use the shower system and maybe uh, have a shower at the back here. This uh, outstanding annex tent is available. And just to remind everyone that you can put that, um, we've got some uh, solar uh, covers that go over that window glass there, that's, and that's going to that protect well. you overhead. That's so here good. we go, we're going to put this on. Hopefully, I've got that lined up quite well. Looks pretty good. We also have a little internal window here as well. Oh, beautiful. That we can... Let's have a look from the inside. I think that's cool. So if you had some push bikes or something like that on your bicycle rack at the back or some such thing and you want to park them in there, like a little garage or you can shower in there, put a porta potty in there, exactly. pretty, much, pretty much anything. Exactly. And in fact, the interior module that we looked at earlier also has a, uh, a porta potty option. Uh, Vanessa, wh where can we find that on the web? The easiest way to find it is, uh, is combilife.com.au, K O M B I L I F E.com.au, and that'll redirect you into the much more complicated name, Vanessa Mobile Camping. And by the way, just while we're talking about Vanessa, yeah. it's not the girl's name. I swear it was the girl's name. It's not the girl's name. Vanessa is actually van, as in like a multi van or any type of van, really. And Essa in German is, is eating. The verb Essen. Is to eat, and in southern Germany they say, "Let's get Essa." So let's go eating. Let's go eat a van. Okay.